after our interview. And that was all of the information that I had learned uh, about my legacy. I'm also a dancer. I've spent my lifetime dancing. Many of the people who taught me are in this room. Many of the people who I have most loved to dance with are in this room. But something missing from my dance experience was the history of black people dancing in Canada. And when I left the interview, I felt like I had been given a gift. And that was the gift of understanding my local history. And so I understood myself better. I also understood that when we are listening and documenting the lives of dancers, we are listening to and documenting the lives of people. Mothers, always a mother of four daughters. And people who are living adversities that are sometimes visible visible and sometimes invisible. And Ola, I thank you for what you shared with me on that day and now with so many people here today. But that was 90 minutes into our interview. When I first sat down, you said, I told Archie that he could give you my phone number, not because I wanted to talk about dance, but because I want to talk about the legacy of racism in this country. And the racism against black people and other people of color and indigenous people has been terrible and hateful and shameful. And I want to bring that into the room today to honor why you said I could come into your home and why you shared your stories with me. And I'm grateful for the dance stories, but I want us to all welcome your full story. And that is the, the society that you were dancing in, the society that you danced in spite of, and the society that you created a new form that I would say is far ahead of your time in this country. And so thank you for your work. Thank you for sharing your story with us. And congratulations on being inducted into the Encore Canadian Dance Hall. Thank <laughs> you. 